but from here you can just branch off and do so many different things. Mm -hmm. I mean, like as I mentioned, the student taking one and doing a big one, or doing it in an hour. That's called fascinating. The creative mind is pretty cool. This this one in particular, you can see going to your um, color scheme because you've carried that turquoise through so well. something when you're, uh, and you'll hear this again, but when you're really, you've, you've worked on pieces and you continually work on them and everything is beginning to look alike. Mm -hmm. This is a time that it will break your train of thought okay. for your creativity also, and it's also well, just keep you in the studio and keep you working. That's the main thing that I'm working on. Look at this paper. And this is 260 Waterford, and it's a wonderful paper that will um, take glues and everything and, and hold up very well. And it takes painting excellent, too. And then over here, we have a lot of collage papers, which you're going to go over in a few minutes and just tear pieces up. And you can see, just randomly, I have torn them up. Now what you're going to do, I'm going to show you just a little bit. Randomly, you're going to be placing and you'll decide whether you want a hard edge or a soft edge or what here. And, and you want to be sure you have some um, light background because you're going to cover this entire surface with papers. You're going to glue them all down and you have uh, polymer gloss medium and you have matte medium and you have an empty one. All right, now you a can either them. take yeah. a little sponge brushes and I've got some over there for you. So right now I want each of you just to go and get some, grab some fabric, some Should papers and tear it up and you don't want there? big pieces. You want, you a... so just grab your colors. Think of it somewhat of a color scheme if you can. And I start right here. I just, you know, the first one I lay down and then I go from there. Okay. So we're going to fill that entire That bowl. entire sheet. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure it becomes turning me. Fear doesn't work that fast. <laughs> You'd be surprised how fast you, you will cover the entire thing. Having recorded her hooking a rug. <laughs> and I don't know whether you brought a squeegee or something to, to really get it down so that there's no bubbles in anything. No. Uh, I've got a few up here on the shelf. Here are the, here's a credit card and different things that, to... Um, because this is very important that you get this all down and get all your air bubbles out. And you've got several sheets of this um, freezer paper folded over. So as you go along and get too much uh, glue and everything on it, just, just um, tear it off and get down to the next level. Always use the, the slick side up. stopping point. All right. Okay, if you are, I want you to turn the, the work over back side. And then have a razor blade and you're going to divide it and you don't get the blue one. All right, yes. when you cut it, you can move those pieces around anyway, and here's what you get. Oh, ah. cool. How fun. And see, I liked this, so I continued that on, but I could turn it around and put it in here. 
and you can you actually just make all new different things every which way. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's the surprise element of it. But see, if you get in a rut that you're doing the same thing over and over again, this will really break you up faster than anything, and you'll get thinking of new things. And then I have had students then take one of these or one, and then do a big painting from that idea. Of course, it's a great, great exercise. Very, very. Use different sizes, so it's perfectly okay. Yeah. Okay, I like that you have some strips. All right, do you want to cut some of the long pieces out? Like mm -hmm. that black one, and mm -hmm. do the long strip if you want to, or yeah. whatever. Okay. Okay. But, so you're Thank just you. doing like little. I just love to savor the process. It's Get that robot in yeah, there. Yeah, you can move them all around and you can have all different things. Put one in upside down, put one in another way. I mean, you can even turn like she was doing over there. This is large enough. And it's amazing how you see shapes and things that you didn't see when it was all together. You see shadows and texture. This one's kind of boring. This one's boring. Well, well and it's right up. I love the way this shadow oh, is in there, and it wow. looks three-dimensional. Nice. Oh, I like yeah. it. Cool. Okay. Some of these. Now, if you have a Stabilo, it will work on top of any of this real good.
But from here, you can just branch off and do so many different things. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, as I mentioned, the student taking one and doing a big one, or doing it in analogous colors, or doing it, carrying it through with music throughout everything, or... Mm -hmm. But they look so complete. That looks complete, and that looks complete. It's and not yet like they all go together because of this, your immunity there and there, and even that little green up there, you brought it all together.